Okay, so actually, um, you found one very quickly um, that had 12. So what, what, was, uh, what was your thought process for this? Um, so I called this sort of the arrow method. Um, so with three, uh, this let is me, the one... Let me just move this, this block out of the yeah. way just in case. So for three, this is the one, the one we've had first for three, uh -huh. where you've got two on the row, two on the column, and two on the diagonal. Mm -hmm. And then for four, I think the one we found was this for four, but obviously you can just flip that so you have three on the row, three on the column, three on the diagonal, so I thought for five you could probably do four on the row, four on the column, and four on the diagonal. Okay. Wow. Um, Great. Yeah, so it works um, because you always have three for a rectangle, but you never have the fourth one. So for here you have like these three, but this one's missing, these three, and again it's missing all the way up there. Nice. Yeah. What, do, what do you think? Um, yeah, you sort of, for this case, you force the rectangles to use these sort of layers of corners, and they have to, if they were rectangles, the top right corner would have to be filled in, but it's not. So it sort of breaks all the rectangles. Okay. Oh, I grabbed that marker that's not working super well. Do I have room over here? Yeah. So for the, uh, the two by two case, which we didn't do, uh, but you, you can yeah, see the answer. Just three. Three. Yeah. The three by three case is six. The four by four case is nine. The five by five case is twelve. Twelve, mm -hmm. which would lead you to guess that the six by six case would be fifteen. You just add a rectangle here, 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 and here as but your dots. It, it turns out to be sixteen for the six by six case. So, ah. what seems like a pattern that would lead you to wonder why I thought this was such an interesting problem actually breaks. Interesting. <laughs> I hope I'm remembering this right, by the way, but the pattern definitely breaks later. It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it loses a little bit later <laughs> on, and then you have to, um, uh, so you could, you could start to see here that for 12, the pro proving this is the max is starting to get a little harder. Yep. And then however the techniques we've used to prove that these were the maxes up to now then sort of actually don't get hard at 6x6, six six, they actually don't work because for 6x6 six six it's, I'm pretty sure it's 16, so. It's a cool problem, and it's a cool problem in general to solve the n by n case. It's actually a pretty difficult problem, it turns out, hmm. which is why um, Larry Guth was talking about it. Anyway, great work this morning, guys. Good, good job. <laughs>